This is Todd Fedoric, The Fridge, and you're watching Nasty Knuckles. You're listening to Nasty Knuckles, the Hockey Outlaws podcast, with your host, Terry Nasty Sotomayor and former Philadelphia Flyer Enforcer Riley Cote as they go behind the scenes with your favorite NHL players. Time to face off. All right, welcome back. What's happening, Nasty? What's up, Rigorelia? How you making out? Oh, man, great. Great. How you doing? Doing well. You know what I'm fired up about? Tell me. June 9th. Woo, what's June 9th? Big tailgate. Oh, yeah, in the books. Years. Yes, it's in the books. It's it's happening. Um, our good friends, sponsors, Clear Rum. Yep. And fans of Philly, our boy Joe DiBiagio. Um, we're getting it together. We we're are. getting everyone together. June 9th. Are you excited? I'm excited. It's clearly not a, a Flyers tailgate, is it? It's not a flyer. It's not a Flyers <laughs> tailgate. It is not. It's for the Phillies. Uh, the Dodgers Dodge. are in town, but uh, can't wait, man. It's gonna be so much fun. And uh, like I said, Clear Rum and uh, fans of Philly jumping in with us. It's gonna. It's gonna be awesome. Yep, four to seven. Come out if you guys are around. I might be, be there before be, four. Yeah, you, I'm I sure might you be will. There. I might be in rare form by four. Yeah, Last time I was. I know. I remember. I remember. Yeah. Very correctly. You yeah. were overserved. I was overserved. It, it wasn't my fault. It was the sun. It was too hot. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of warm that day. Uh, I would imagine it'll be warm in June. I would think uh, so. But uh, yeah, man, I'm seriously, I'm excited. We got a lot of our friends and, and uh, everybody coming for us. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, still figuring out the lot. We yes. will uh, keep you guys posted. Yep. Uh, we'll be posting some stuff on social media. Keep you guys in the loop. And uh, yeah. You guys are around. Have some time. Come check us out. Say hi. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. So Maybe some special guests there too. Special guests. Ooh. Yeah. You got so, up your sleeve, now. I can't give it away yet. Yeah. Well, well, you know, it's kind of like you pocket. when we were going in the checkup for charity, and you start throwing out injury reports for everyone, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Well. My back anyway, was, I can't give it away. <laughs> out of commission. <laughs> your back was out of commission. You played well though. You fought through it. Oh, I did. You're a hockey player. Yeah. Well. Um. Yeah. So everybody, mark it down. June 9th. It's going to be great, four to seven. Uh, not sure of the lot yet, like Riggs said, but it's going to be awesome. Clear rum, fans of Philly, um, nasty knuckles. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, got to jump into this uh, playoff real quick. Yeah. Toronto, you're a Canadian. Yeah. I know you're not a Toronto fan or anything like that, but um, wow. Uh... Like, Florida, first of all, give them credit. Yeah, you got to give them a, yeah. a ton of credit. They knocked off Boston. They knocked off Toronto. Um, but man, the in my opinion, the casual play of the big boys for Toronto, it's just unacceptable. They just didn't want it bad enough. It did. It looked like that, honestly. <laughs> like I mean, it, 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 be really honest, though, yeah. Like I mean, three goals between the big four there. I know it's hard um, to Matthews, actually. Marner, uh, Tavares, and, and Nylander. That might be the, and I'm not shitting on, I, but that might be the first time I've seen Nylander dig in and go to the goal. He scored that goal late right. to tie the game. Like, why Why does he not play like that all the time? Like Because it's hard to do that. It is hard, but, man, do you want to win? Well, do you want to win? that's always the question, you know. Like, when guys I, dig in at the right times what, and situations, they, those are the, the guys that, you know, have a good track record of winning, right? And right. They're, they're digging in all the time. It's I just, consistency. You, mm-hmm. you watch just uh, – I watched all those games, and, and even even the guys on TV talking about it are like, they're just not engaged enough. Yeah. They're, they're not – They're Florida's a hard team to the play against. a hard team to play against. And you, it looked like – There's no pushback. They didn't want to play against yeah. them because it, it's hard. Yeah. You'd think that that line – could generate more production by accident yeah, than eight, you know what they did. Yeah. You know? Just, so and I hate to say, like, I'm not gonna sit here like I didn't play the game, but I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, they didn't try. But yeah. it looked bad. Yeah. It looked casual. It yeah. looked like, you know. Yeah. Then again, giving won an easy game, right? Giving yeah, easy game, that's it, right? And Florida comes at them, they're re- they're relentless, they're resilient. Relentless. Um, so 
And we got to talk about uh, games in uh, <laughs> the, the game winner the game for winner, my boy yeah, Nick yeah, Cousins, know, right? uh, Goody going to the <laughs> Goody going to that net, and yeah, he did grab the guy's stick, but like. Hey. It's the playoffs. It, nothing's getting called no. unless it's a high stick. Someone shoots the puck, you know, delay a game that you know is happening. Yeah. I didn't even notice it until they slowed it down. You're telling me a ref sees that? There's no way. No way. They're watching everything else. But And and Gudis' foot speed. Yeah. Like flying. Like, you know what I mean? Buzzing. He, was he made that pass and he went to the, to the net. net. And, you know, you got to give, like, Cuzzy some credit, too, to kind of hold oh, a little patience, bit to yeah. let him get there. And the other D, I think, thought that pass was coming because because he's not. I don't want to say he's not a shoot first guy, but he really isn't. He, he makes a lot of. He passes, does make a lot of those little. But small he passes, he yeah. kind of curled it and snapped it. Was it was great, and, great teaching clip for all the young uh, it was. viewers and listeners out there. I mean, and, that, to me, that was like a textbook as far as like D man jumping up in the play, and driving stopping, the net, and, and stopping, stopping at the at net, the net yeah, exactly. which you see a lot of guys curl away. It's, totally. it's easy to do. You do it quite a bit, men's oh, like always. I'm yeah. <laughs> Never sure. I do because I don't want to get hit. Yeah, yeah. it's too much work. <laughs> yeah, it's going too again. much work to stop and <laughs> start back up. But um, anyway, just wanted to touch on that because now we got Carolina, who's hot, played yep. really well, um, uh, playing the Florida Panthers now. So what? What, what do you got? Well, I'm I'm gonna go with the Panthers. I yeah. mean, it's, it's tough to go against Carolina, but um, I'm just liking what I see with the Panthers. I mean, you mean they knock, don't go away. I like yeah, that. I mean, exactly. Yeah, uh, you obviously knock off Boston, then Toronto. Um, I don't know. I just like I just like their swagger. I guess yeah, they do um, have some so, swag. They so, uh, but it's not gonna be easy. Serious. I, I don't think definitely so six or seven games. I mean. I'm, I'm, I would I would say Florida in seven. In seven, yeah. I, I'm going to go with Florida, and I don't like betting against Rod Brendamore. I, I know, know he's not playing. He's the coach, but that team is fun to watch. They're fast as well. Yeah. They don't quit. Yeah. You know, so it's good. I think that's going to be the – I think it'll be a better series. That's my opinion. I think it'll be a better series than the other one, but uh, Vegas and Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's going to be a good series. I think I, I got Vegas in that one. Yeah, me too. Um, I think they're going to. That one, I Mike, gonna, I, I think that one's going to go seven, too. I think they're yeah. both back and forth teams. Um, uh, I, I haven't watched much uh, these games out west. but Yeah, um, I, I was watching the um, the their Dallas game against the Kraken the other night, game seven there. And um, Sagan, like guys like Sags and, and, uh, J- and Jamie Benn, they may not be throwing up crazy numbers like Ty uh, Ty Domi, mm-hmm. <laughs> Max Maxi Domi. Poo. Max Domi is, is played really well, and he's got a lot. He's his points are up there, but like watching him, I'm not comparing him to Matthews. Matthews obviously has a lot more points than than uh, Sags does in the regular season, but Sags was trying and he's playing yeah, yeah. hard and he's mm-hmm. battling. Like that's the difference to me with those guys that make that money when you get to the playoffs. And Sagan won his rookie year. You know, so he's probably like, oh, man, it's, you know, not that it's easy, but um, I will give those guys credit because they're working their bags off and, yeah. they, and they play hard, man. So and, and Vegas does as well. Yep. So we'll see. But I, I think Vegas might might win that series. So that's that's what I got. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And I, and I think to your point there, that is the leadership that you need to say, say break through. And that's why they're in the situation they're in is yeah. like they might not be producing as much offensively point wise. Yeah. Um, but if you're not producing offensively, you got to be doing all these small and tangible things yes. that every coach talks about, right? Right. Because uh, the game is, um, is is tight, and there's defensive responsibilities we got to take care of that, yeah. you know, are equally as important in scoring every night, right? So yeah. um, that's it's leadership, right? It's just that you can see guys that know what it takes, you know, yep. you know, know, know what this, these small details are that you have to take care of, and. Um, I didn't see that with the Toronto Maple Leafs. I I didn't either. I didn't either. So and, and, uh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of summer they have if they keep their coach. If the Are GM they blowing the ship the up? Now? I don't know. <laughs> I think you got to do something. You got to do something. You have to do something. I think you got to um, do something, but I'm not sure what that. I don't know what that, what that, that is like. either. Is that, is, that, is that a coach? Is that a coaching is it, issue? Well, is the GM there? Yeah, I mean the shelf life of general managers and coaches is not very long anyway. So uh, in a big market city, you don't have much flexibility to lose right <laughs> and if sure. it was funny you, 
they always will show like the box up there with the GM and, the, and all that, but they seem to show him a lot because he seemed to be losing his cool a lot. Yeah, you never see like, that. Before, you don't right? usually see that with GMs. Maybe once in a Maybe while. Maybe a little fist pump yeah, here. Yeah, but like, but... I mean, he was more angry half the time yeah, well, yeah. than anything. But, I mean, maybe he had a feeling, or maybe someone said, hey, you better show some emotion better do something. No, not show emotion, <laughs> but something better happen this year, or, you know, maybe we're going to clean clean the house. But who knows? I'm sure he feels we'll the see. pressure like most of these guys do. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Maybe to get the little tap and said, you know, when you're up there in the box, show a little more emotion. Spe- Spez does Spez does Spez it. Spez Not even phased. Eh? He's like Debo up there. I don't know. Not even phased. You guys, you probably texted Probably crushed Debo. a 25 milligram edible. <laughs> Probably did. Good for him if he did. Who knows? Um, (laughs) He was unfazed by. He was definitely unfazed by his uh, antics. (laughs) Throwing, he's he's throwing water bottles. He's slamming, fucking Spaz just sitting there, man. Yeah, chilling. No big deal. It's a good way. I don't know how he could do that though. I don't know exactly what Spaz does with the team, but I'd be a little bit more engaged, I think, because <laughs> I'm a little wound up anyway. You know that. Well, but uh, calm the nervous system now. Yeah, it's, I know. Little, I should. It's a little excited. I should. I should. But um, interesting to see. Can't wait for these series to start. So they start this week. Yeah, should be good. Looking forward to it. Yep. I think we're ready, Nas. I think we're ready. Yeah, episode one eighteen. You got that right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one eighteen yeah. with our good friend, the fridge, Todd Fedoric. Yeah, Let's two point oh. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome back. I'm Riley Cote, and I'm Derek Suttlemeyer. And this week we have I. I actually feel really tough right now. I'm centering two pretty tough gentlemen, uh, former flyer, former flyer enforcer, former NHL enforcer. Uh, these days, uh, a partner at New Life Medical Addiction Centers, our good friend, friend of the show, friend of us, yep. friend of ours, Mr. Todd Fedora Fridge. What's up, brother? How you been? How you been? Oh, just hanging and banging. <laughs> that's just about what I do, man. Yeah. <laughs> Some things never change. Yeah, man. that's right. Yeah, got to be you, right? Good, I good. love it. Good to see you, man. It's good to see you, what's, too. What's going on? Yeah, you know, spring is here. There's a lot going on in Flyerland. There's a lot going on in playoffs. There's, you know, you're always tied to hockey no matter what. We played. I loved it. You know, I loved the game. And i um, fortunate to stay in this area, make this area my home, and then, um, you know, do stuff in the community. And, and obviously working at New Life with Dr. Savon. He's a tremendous doctor. We've got a great staff over there helping people with obviously you know mental health issues substance use disorder and um you know it's rewarding work it's tough work it's hard work it's it's dedicated work um and i'm up for it you know uh and uh, obviously doing stuff with the alumni still and always staying involved and then you get to see riles every once in a while and the guys that are still here and yeah man just i guess living the dream after the dream that's right yeah, that's brother. <clears throat> Actually, I'm seeing you quite a bit these days. Yeah, the school yeah. visits and the well, I guess the the, the, the alumni stuff, alumni games, and do well, the, the Flyers recess. Have some fun with that. Wait a minute. So you guys have been playing <laughs> hockey together, and you're not on. Yo, so well, he's not on the team. I guess not. Are you going to join our men's league team? Well, you imagine how many people <laughs> oh, be pissed yeah. off. Yeah. You need it. It's only one day a week, Sundays. <sighs> Sundays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there are That's games where we have good times at Hollydale. Like, we had good times. Well, over there. Uh, he'll but make as many games as I made this past season. He would make more than you. Probably. I'll closer. go pick him up. Uh, you know what? I still get the itch. I still get the itch. <laughs> I don't mind going how, out there. How, how, would you, how would you do, though, if someone gave you a little slash? Do you think? I don't do well with that. Well... Well, the alumni game we had at Wells Fargo Center, Marshy did it to me. Like, oh, I remember that. Buttons, I buttons, thought you guys were guys. Buttons. You guys yeah. were gonna go. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh man, that was close. And it's not his fault, and it's you know, it's just hockey, and it's yeah, you just get into that stuff. It's I don't know if it's in the game anymore. I don't think it is. But not like it was. That's, that's for just sure. two guys that still care about competing, and I think that'll. Always, I don't. Ho- I hope I never lose that you right know? not not where i'm punching people every day and stuff but well, like frankie? just that fire in <laughs> yeah, your belly right. to 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 uh, you know have that little right. bit of of juice in the tank you I've, know riles has only gotten worked up two times <laughs> in the last couple of years one yeah. was a check for charity the day that my buddy was yeah. raking on your wrist there a little yeah, bit oh, yeah <laughs> crossing the line yeah he crossed riles felt like he crossed the line <laughs> And That's then right. we played in a game after a Flyers game this year at the center. Oh, yeah. And the goalie, the goalie. was <laughs> chirping him. Another shout out to him. We yeah, talked right. about him quite a bit. I thought we were he over that. We apologized. Up, man, I'm like, 
it happens. I'm like, hey, it fuck, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. What but you um, yeah, you're right. You don't lose that. You don't lose that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As much uh, yoga and meditation I've done, still <laughs> still get pissed off now and then. Yeah. You got yeah. it, man. Progress. You got it. It's progress. progress. Yeah. Um, it's practice. So, so Friggy, let's, I mean, the big story right now is Keith Jones and Danny Breer, and it's, it's actually really exciting yeah. right now. I guess talk about Jonesy first, because, you know, you're, you're buddies with him as we are. I'm going to give you my honest take, because the way that that came out, it kind of trickled out on, like, I seen, I seen it first, you guys saying it, and I was like, oh, they're messing around. But then if you think about it, you're like, wait, that's actually... I really hope that that happens, but it could be a joke in the same. Yeah. Either way, it could have went. But then I started getting excited. I'm like, this actually, you think about it. And if you think about the flyers and whole, we just talked about this before. If there, you got three things that can encapsulate what we are at the start of this new era that they're talking about. It's, it's cool, swagger, and we got class. I think we got all three of those elements. And, and cool is being cool again like uh, with jonesy yeah i think we got the coolest kid in campus you know he's well liked amongst all the teams exactly people that build teams he's got to tell their story he's had to tell their story in media and i i jones he's well liked he really is he's sharp he's smart he's witty um yeah, I, I, it's exciting. And then you move down to Torts, and like he's got that swagger. He's going to implement that swagger into the team and make sure that they're working hard. They're playing hockey, which is a tough game, and it's a hard game. And that's part of Flyers hockey, too. And then Danny B, man, he's got some class. He's got some yeah. um, experience, and I don't know. And then and then even with Hilferty, too. Yeah. Like Hilferty, yeah. Mr. Hilferty is um, – I'm obviously been in healthcare for almost 10 years now. And he's he's on a pedestal up there amongst leaders in this area, uh, in that space, and um, that's important. I think that's really important. He's yeah. from here. And, yeah. And, and yeah. He grew up a fan, and he grew up uh, understanding what that what we carried as, as the Flyers. And yeah, teams can lose that, but I think that we're on a really really strong path to recapturing whatever it is that is flyers because yeah you, you we lost our way a little bit with mr snyder passing yeah that happens yeah. like you, Fully agree. you i think they, they said it best by you, you can you can honor their memory of him right and also with with the people that are still from that time you yeah know? Right. i'm talking about clarky and homer and billy and those guys that are still here we can honor his legacy of the flyers uh through the memory uh, his memory through through them still you know yeah. but moving forward yeah like the, i like the way it starts it's it's kind of that um it's just like a ferrari in, in the car yeah all we got to do is put gas in it so all the pieces are there i think yeah. everything i'm you excited just, every, exactly yeah. everything you just said is, is so spot on and and the other good thing <clears throat> i i believe with danny and jonesy is that they were a part of the flyers when mr snyder was alive yeah. And they saw what yeah. how it was ran and, and, and the the love and the care that this man had for his for you guys. Yeah. For, for all of us. Yeah. His staff, everyone. And that's so big. And you know, you hear a lot of people talking about we've talked about this before. Wow, well, got another flyers in here. Yeah, you need flyers in here. You need people like Jonesy. Yeah. This isn't just a oh, let's get a flyer guy. Like this guy's Yeah, he was the big in Fridge said. I know he was like the best in the game. Like, he just happened to be a and flyer. He snuck under the radar. Yeah, he did. And I, I loved what he said. You know, he explained well, I didn't want people to know because if I didn't get it, then he's I've a got ninja. it. I know. Yeah, he's and a ninja. he he's like calculated. even when we heard it, we were like, All right, this is cool. Like, cause yeah. this guy is legit. He's smart. Like you, everything you just said, like Jonesy's got it. Yeah. So, I agree. And, and I believe in Danny as well. And like you said, you got a hard nosed coach. We could see this year. We talked about this a million times. You don't like losing, but there's a wrong way and a right way to lose yeah. games. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. there's when you watch some games, you're like, you know, the guys all care Fridgy. You played a long time. There's nights where it doesn't look good, but it looked bad. Mm. Not this year, the year before, and the year even the year before that, it was it was getting ugly, and even the players knew it. But this year, at least, there was some fuck you, there was some fight. Yeah, uh, they never gave up, yeah. um, and I think that's only going to get yeah. get better. You know, I, I agree, I agree. Yeah, and the t- it takes losing. You know, it takes really understanding that you know we're we're kind of lost as a franchise, and 
can't come in with torts last year. I'm not saying lost. Like we're we're on the way back, and it's right. rebuild is something we've never. I, we I remember them saying we don't say that around here. Yeah, that's like true. rebuild, and and the franchise has never rebuilt, and this is kind of the first time we're doing it. But no, nah, it's it's an exciting time, and I think that uh, the right guys are at the helm. And the, you, you go back to like, yeah, the, there's and you hear that. Oh, it's just former Flyers. I don't. <laughs> These guys ended up being flyers. You should take a little bit of a, a put a feather in your cap for that because Mr. Snyder, the Flyers, they, they breed good good hockey men. Yeah, you know, right. they yeah. breed good 100%. hockey guys. And and Jonesy alluded to that, and they just ended up being flyers. But they're the two best candidates if you think about it. Yeah, Jonesy for sure, and Briere. Yeah, he's paid his dues. He's, yeah, he's paid his dues. Yes. He's, he's 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 on the resume. Uh, he's he's. Built it from, he spent time in Trenton, right? Or not Trenton, in, in Maine. Maine, yeah. Maine yeah. yeah. Managing. He followed Homer around oh. for how many years? Yeah, there, yeah. The yeah. So business it's. Business side of things. How do you do that in the corporate world, fellers? You, you start yeah. at the bottom, you work your way up. Yeah, well, you got to do that when you're done hockey. And it's not a lot of guys can eat their humble pie and go do that. Yeah. That's right. And he put his time in down there. So then you learn a lot man like, oh yeah i remember just remembering trenton like to, and that's just the east coast so then you're, you trickle down so if if you're associated with a team and you're down on the third tier two or three guys go up on the big club that means three or four guys come up from the ahl five or six guys come up from the east coast yeah and i remember vince williams who's actually uh um he's a scout for vegas now yep. that's right i was assistant coach with him first year out and come he's on like you and vince yep v-dubs <laughs> v-dubs yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah tremendous hockey guy yeah. yeah yes yeah he learned from some good guys too jacques lemaire but um he was like he seriously asked me you got any buddies in the area that can play? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, there's a couple of guys. He goes, I'm serious. We need players for tonight. We just had five guys called up, <laughs> and I don't have, a, I don't have a, a, a team for tonight. And that's what the coast is. Right. You oh, find yeah, guys is, that might yeah. be playing club at some of the universities are playing maybe D3 or, or right maybe up. not D3, but you got to worry about finding players and – um, you learn a lot and you learn it quick and you learn how important it is to make the decisions in his position yeah. that trickled down because there's a downstream effect to yeah. those decisions. Yeah. So yeah, I wear a lot of hats. I'm too glad I'm not a GM. <laughs> yeah. 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 What do yeah. you see the, the, B, the, the rebuild looking like? What do you think the Flyers need the most? To I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. I think the, the, the most important thing, I think, for any team in the NHL because it's – it, you can't judge who's going to win. You can't pick the winner. It's the there, it's so even across the board. So there's an element I think of that team, the room, and how strong they are and how tight they are. That, that I think that is probably the best starting point. Like get that locker room loving each other. Get those guys to understand they're going into battle. Get that that character, that charisma, that us versus them mentality in there. That's the one thing I think that Jonesy's going to be yeah. good at doing. Yeah. Danny's going to yeah. be totally. tremendous at doing. Like It's an exciting time. And then Torts is all about that. He knows what that's about. And, and um, I think that's an element. Like You're going to look for character guys, guys that are going to that play hard-nosed hockey. you got to find your way to... What does intimidation look like in today's hockey game? Because that's who we are. Yeah. Right? We, like we 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 birthed intimidation into hockey, and, and it was it was a valuable factor. It's not necessarily in the same shape, right? In pu pugilistic behavior, right, if right, you want yeah. to call it. But it's there's an element of intimidation that is is in sports and in competition that I think if anybody's going to own it in the NHL, might as well be the Flyers. I so agree. find that in today's game. I agree, and I think <clears throat> right now a team like Florida, the Florida Panthers, the way they're playing, I'm not saying it's intimidating, but they're hard to play against, yeah. and that's one of the biggest they're things. They're they are relentless, and they play hard, but they do have the butcher back there they're just the absolutely butcher. folding people in half. <laughs> yeah. um, but those are the kind of guys that are. <clears throat> key for you especially in the playoffs yeah, no fridge you know that yeah. like um I, I think that's the biggest thing but the flyers do have some toughness now you know chuck had went out and got delorier who um is a tough man yeah and he he made guys answer the bell you know a few times and we had big mac but you know he got moved on good for him but uh 
I think the Flyers don't get pushed around. That's no. for sure. No. Yeah, absolutely. That's a, that's a no no go zone. Yeah. Right. And Jonesy was talking about uh, you know beefing up the back end. You know, really having like an advanced back end, which makes a shitload of sense, right? I mean, towards the system is more defensive than offensive, and I think you have to have a strong blue line. What are your thoughts on on, on that? And you know. Just the, the direction of uh, of fast, kind of th- yeah. Like the ideal D man is a fast moving, big, heavy D man that can move guys and finish, not finish hits, but play physical in the right times and then and move that puck. Like yeah. you got to think these guys got to move that puck two zones, like laser. There's yep, no Chris right. Prongers out there, right? Right. But yeah, beef it up. I I, I think that there's skill there. We've got some, you know, we've got some skills that can, that can QB the quarterback york can work back there and yeah um but I, I yeah i don't know like do you draft that is that the one you think you go after but if they're focused on defense i mean you got your goaltender yeah exactly you got yeah. it you got it carter hart's gonna yeah, be yeah. The man. he's, he's gonna be 24 the man. years old yep he's gonna be the man we're gonna get behind him no matter what yeah. like, right. he's gonna be the guy so if you hear that carts you're the dude man yeah. we're riding you get used to it and it's gonna be fun but um Defense is, is the next step, yeah. yeah. Good, it, best defense, like, that's how you win championships. It yeah, is, right? and, and no you know, like, <clears throat> there's talks about, obviously, Ivan Provorov, I would say the number one D-man on the team, in my opinion, I don't know. Um, but you talk to him being moved, it's going to be a lot of minutes that you're going to have to try to find a player to replace um, if you do move him. But maybe you get a young D-man back or – or a pick back, you know, for him. Who knows how that's going to work out? Maybe he doesn't get traded, but we've heard that. We've heard like Tony could be traded, yeah, uh, from the D, you know, the back end. So it'll be interesting to see. It's it's hard to say. Oh, here's what we're going to do because we don't yeah. know yet. The yeah. season the season's yeah. still obviously the playoffs are still going on. But Danny alluded the other day to the fact that the more teams go out, the more there's there, there's more messages being sent to him and and more talk. So obviously, as soon as the the cups raise, that's when it's really going to pick up. And, and obviously the draft is coming up so it's exciting to to have that to look forward to you know as a as a flyer fan anyway yeah yeah it's a clean slate like as clean as you can get i think that um we, we got youth we got i think we're doing the seventh pick so it's it's a clean slate with guys that know the game they know where the players are they know the tendencies and they know what a good team looks like so yeah yeah it's just we get behind them support every decision like yeah. how, how can you not if they if they have a vision for it, you got to support them until they fail. So, yeah, and then pick them up, right? Like, I hope, hopefully, they uh, they're gonna do it the right way. I think they try to f- emulate the teams that win, right, from previous right. years. But it's just still the same formula. Playoff hockey is different. That yeah. level different, of man. grit goes up, and you need the heavy heavy players to play hard and long and um, get you through that juggernaut. You know, so. Yeah, I, I'm excited for the whole summer. It's just gonna keep getting better. Yeah, I yeah, agree, yeah, for hundred you know? percent. Uh, so. I was going to ask you, uh, Fridgy, um, towards the end of the season, Torts made a comment about not identifying a captain going into next season. You know, being a young team, uh, what are your thoughts on that approach, or do you think it might change you know, going into the season? Well, leadership is critical. You, that's the kind of the one, the fulcrum of between, that's the message between the coach and player. Like right. someone's got to talk to the coach because not every player wants to <laughs> yeah. you gotta you gotta yeah. anoint <laughs> sure. someone's got to be anointed with that yeah um I, i'm from the school of let the players vote stay out of it you know what that's who's my captain yeah uh yeah you know let them determine who captain is um and then support it like if the coach agrees with it like let them let them choose it i don't think that should be something that goes outside yeah the room right. you know but to go into the season without a captain, like to, 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 to yeah, to, to publicly say that, like, do you do you have any thoughts on that approach, that strategy, uh, may, may, maybe how it works or it doesn't work? It's I think it's just not committing to somebody right now. Yeah, we don't even know what we're gonna have in September. Yeah, like right. you could you could have three captains come in. That's you know, true. Which yeah. one's too. gonna which one's gonna yeah arise? Yeah. So leave it open. Like that's a true. That's that's. That gives a true, oh, clean slate. Yeah. The, nobody's got anything here. It's a every every spot on this team is open. Yeah. So right. who wants to come here with Jonesy? The, those three are leading it. Yeah, uh, basically, For and sure. they got Mr. Hilford. He's supporting them, and yeah. you know, all the people over at the Flyers as well. They do they do real hard to do the work over there, man. Yeah. It's they do. And and another, another thing about that, Friggy, is you never know. Like I know 
Torts is the coach, but Keith Jones may be like, no, we're going to have a captain. Yeah. I'm not saying he is, but he might be like, yeah. hey, this is important. Like, let's, I know you said Talk we're not going to, but yeah. even if we don't name it till October, or November, yeah. let, let's, let, let's get a captain in place. And they have a couple good options. Here. Yeah, they Coots. do. Yeah, he's, yeah. Lots was the only guy that wore a letter this year. Of course, Coots didn't play, but, uh, you know, I feel like I know you have guys in there that are captain that that are leaders in that room, and you don't have to point them out. Everyone knows, but to me, I would like that. I, I, I think. You yeah. Can. Like you ever played on a team without a captain? No, it's weird. It's yeah. weird. I want a, a captain. Strange. I want to. Yeah. I want to know who's the captain to yeah. deal with stuff because there's 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 functions. You got to function stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. You, know? Captain. you know. Although, gee, every time we were doing something, I would be like. Uh, Gee, what do you want to do about this? Uh, go ask a Mac. Well, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Well, you're the well, captain. That's where they okay, got the assistants. That. Exactly. That's where they got the assistants. Go ask a Mac or, or you know another guy that's uh, one of the captains. But uh, no, I, I just feel like I think it's good to have a captain. Well, I, I agree, and that's why I asked. I just thought it was like a little premature to make a bold statement like we're going into this next season without a captain. You know, without even knowing how you know the off season is yeah. going to go or you know the training yeah. camp's going to go especially yeah. when you have like you were talking about some good candidates there and you know who knows maybe it was just the way you know torts is and and who would you play away i know who i'd i'd like lots i would like lots too i mean that would be I, my, i've my known pick. him the longest he's yeah. been through the ups and downs i watched him in 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 lehigh, lehigh. you coached him in yeah, lehigh exactly how what a gentleman how did he handle that like Amazing. I remember yeah, that. that he, he would be my vote for sure. I was like, I was kind of when when Richie when Richie was here, I was like, oh, this is this guy's kind of emulating Richie a little bit. And the other thing, it's about his favorite Lots, player too, by the way. No yeah, way, really? Yeah, that's his favorite player. Yeah. Oh, see, there yeah. you go. Yeah. That's why. From, that's funny because yeah. Richie's an uh, he's a natural leader. Right. Richie's yeah. a natural leader. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I liked that guy, man. I like yeah. following him, the way he played, everything. It was fun to play with Richie, and, and no, no wonder that lots i i remember the first time i met lot lawton he was the only guy that shook my hand and the other alumni hand down on the shore when the rookies come down to do oh, that camp. Yeah, oh yeah jimmy, yeah. jimmy yeah. mccrossin came off shay fridge how you doing shook everybody's hand and lots came off shook all our hands looked this in the eye and i don't know if it was joe or somebody said no nah, that's a good hockey boy or <laughs> yeah, something yeah, like that right. that sounds about and right joe watson, joe watson? <laughs> i go you know what though that's that that's a, that is important yeah, that's what it was is. important to me it was raised a certain way and and of that's what gentlemen do good men do they look someone in the eye when they made them and shake their hands yeah. and i like that about him and i was like that guy's a leader man yeah He's, and he is I like yeah he really I like is his yeah, game yeah. and yeah yeah maybe maybe not be that most um you know what is it? Because you got to have that charisma in Philly, man. Like yeah. you got to have that uh, the ability to like pre uh, not preems um, um, Pronger had it. Yeah, you, know? you got to oh, be yeah. able to you got to be able to hot mud with the media here yeah, and play with them properly. It, and it helps. It helps because the media's got to be on our side in this town because the yeah. fans got to be on our side and. And if yeah, you, if you go out on the ice and you're messing around, you know they they let you know it. So yeah, now I I like lots. That would be my guy again, but I'm not in the locker room. Right. Yeah. I I saw Koo. I was telling Riles earlier. I saw, I saw Koo's for a little bit yesterday. And we were shooting the shit, and one good thing is he's feeling great, awesome. which is awesome. Um, he's another candidate. Yeah, but yeah. I like I if you said it was Lawton or Koo's, I'm not going to be upset about it. <laughs> no, of course you know what not. I mean. But I agree. Like lots, like obviously love this kid. Like known him forever and, and Coots has fucking known Coots forever as well and I feel like uh, they're both great candidates for it either one but who knows what they yeah, have up too, their sleeve yeah. you know I mean Coots isn't as you vocal as everyone yeah <laughs> as as lots that's what i meant about but, lots too but yeah, yeah he, he he's good he he talks a lot he's really good in the locker room even when he was <clears throat> excuse me younger uh coming up in my last even when I was there last, like he's a really good locker room guy, yeah. And um, he brings a lot to the table, and you and you never have a night where you think, well, lots didn't really give her tonight, yeah, you know. Like yeah, he, he's always he, he gives it. So, yeah. um, like you guys said, like lots is a great pick. I think Coots. We've talked about it a little bit before, but we'll see what happens. Like I said, maybe Jonesy says, "Hey, and Danny, you yeah. know, we need a captain. Let's let's set a captain here and." And go with it, but yeah. I guess we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, as of right now, that's not that? happening. <laughs> How do you go about that? Yeah, right. Oh man. Well, shifting gears for G, uh, playoff hockey. 
There's a few former Flyers, former Phantoms uh, yeah. floating Florida, around. Especially yeah, Florida. We yeah, got Florida, Florida, yeah. Florida. Uh, you had a chance to see Nick Cousins in, in, in Lehigh. Yeah. Um, seeing this guy evolve as a player and yeah. now being a, a pesky Panther. Wow. He is playing – He's playing basically the top line, yeah, with Kachuk and Bennett, and they're they're j- talk about a relentless line. And then you got chir- you know, because he's just chirping. Oh, all the time. <laughs> he's just chirping. Um, <laughs> but like you know, former Flyers on that team, we got Goody. Alex Line is the one that actually pushed them into yeah, the right, playoff yeah. spot. He was playing a- ahead of Bob. Now Bob's back in the net playing unreal. Uh, we got Roddy Brendamore coaching Carolina, so that that series has uh, quite a few uh, former Flyers, which is kind of cool. And it's hard not to pull for Florida ghost. right now. Ghost, yeah, sorry, Ghost. <laughs> Ballers wearing your jersey, Ghost. Um, yeah, like that. I'm really excited to watch that series. Yeah, me too. Um, I don't know if how I know how busy you There's are. There's a frigid. history of this with the Flyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 but what does it tell you? It tells you that we we make good hockey players. Yeah, here. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what happens. They weren't. They weren't. They weren't bust. They weren't bust. They were going somewhere else. Yeah. I mean, you you tell oh. me you don't want Radko Gudis on a playoff team? Oh, are you man. kidding me? Yeah, no I kidding. I like the way he plays. Oh my god, I love the way he plays in the regular season. And yeah. he's not like he's he's a terrible player. No, like, no he can play. Yep. Uh, but um. Anyway, I just wanted to touch on. Uh, I know how busy you are, um, but Toronto, like they, be, I think they were just happy they got out of the first round. I, know. I think I, so. I'm sure that that's was not the case, them. but it felt like that watching them play against Florida. I mean, the the casualness of their play to me was just, I I don't understand it. And it's your top players there: Tavares, yeah. uh, Nylander, Matthews, Marner. Like well, between com- them all, what they have three like, goals between say, those yeah, guys, exactly. and look at the salaries on those just those four guys. I know, like to unacceptable. Me, that's why Florida. Florida reminds me of the 2010 team we had. Yeah, when we snuck into the playoffs, they snuck in. Yeah, barely snuck in, and they're they're rolling. Yeah. They're, they're just they're, hard to play against. Hard to like play Fridge, against. back to your point, being that team that's hard to play against. Yeah. And you need that every night. Yeah, because you wear down the other team in a seven-game series, and all these games go seven games, so you've, you're have you you're changing your mode of operations. You're wearing them down. That means you're playing more physical. You're hitting them, and it has an effect in a seven-game series. Oh. So the grittier team, uh, if you want to play stats, they're going to win. They're going to win in that seven-game series. they got to be have skill. It's got to be a perfect mix, but – yeah, the Toronto, that's that no highs, no lows. Like, they, yeah. and I get it. I get it, man. That 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 was a that was a, a first-round slump like like no other. That's insane. With, with, with quality players, quality management, too. Like, they've had yeah. some good management in there through the years, good coaching as well, yeah. and just have never been able to do it. And that's, I don't know, they just came out flat, I guess, and... You can't do that. No. You no. can't do that. Not in playoffs, man. It's go time, and it gets harder and harder every way. And that's lesson learned, right? But don't repeat. Like, now you know. Yeah. You got to take that into the next year, I guess. But I think the whole country of Canada and the NHL themselves really wanted to see them go deep. And, oh, and yeah. Hit it. No, for like, sure. Like, in the back of their head. Because, like, that would be great for the game. Yeah. Edmonton It would be well. good. Edmonton, Edmonton yeah, too. The superstars there. Yep. Yeah. Like, yep. I, we, we've talked about this, Fridgie. Like, here we go again. Edmonton loses again. I mean, they got two of the best players, obviously, in the world. Um, but you can't win with just those two. And other guys did step up. Evander Kane, he's yeah, a tough he, fucker. Yeah. That guy's hard to play against. Um, but, like, what do you do? Like, I don't – I don't. what do you do in Toronto? Do you blame the coach? Do you blame the GM? Baller had some good points earlier about um, a couple of moves that um, were made there that I actually had forgotten about that weren't that great. But – after this performance in the second round, when your top players, like the balls, to, they yeah. underperformed Big time. by, yes, to make a move. You imagine you're the guy that trades Austin Matthews or you got to trade Mitch Martin, like any of these guys, but something has to be done there. Like, yeah, well, I would say so. I mean, up their that's core a little bit. Too many Chiefs, not enough Indians. Yeah, well, that's it. Right? It's just, you know. And Can they're great players. That? Yeah, I yeah, know, right? <laughs> yeah, they're they're great players, though. That's the thing, and it just, but it doesn't translate that. I don't know. I don't want to say it's easy in the regular season. It's a team sport, but man. It's, and man. It's, it's catching lightning in a bottle. Like well, there's one team too. out of all 32. You, you're you're grabbing your your athletes on a global scale, and it's a third. It's a th- you get a third come from Canada, a third come from the U.S., and a third come from Europe. 
it's just it is lightning in a bottle it's top down like the management even the stats and all the the numbers that are now so prevalent in the game they do give you the edge but you know it's it's just hard it's hard to win man even if you think you got it all and you like that team yeah they're stacked on paper boston. yeah boston yeah, exactly, too yeah Bang- yeah Bash- and a but great i will not say they too. didn't show up they did not show up yeah oh yeah i agree they, yeah. they just yeah. ran into a hot Panthers team that yeah, just exactly. found yeah. a way in overtime in game yeah. seven to win, man. Yeah, animal. there's something to say for where you're at heading in now. Like, I think that's even more important in today's game because it, resting and, and being kind of ready, and we would pull guys out going into playoffs. Right. Now it's like you want to be that team that is Full grinding steam. in to get in, and then you're playing at a level ahead of the guys that they need to catch up to. Yeah. So those and Florida's one of those teams, Flyers. Like that's that started yep. happening. So yep. those guys that have that momentum, those teams that have those momentum, I think those are the ones that end, you know, oh, yeah. going I deeper. Mean, if you don't have it, and you run into it. You you know it. Yeah, that's and the, the, you know the teams that obviously got upset. Th- those are the teams that run into that stuff. Yeah, no doubt. Did you play with uh, Brindamore? No, he is time. He just went down to Carolina. Oh, but really? I was yeah, no. I, I was guys, here I th- when I thought you did too. Yeah, I was here when we were. I was eighteen when we first came in, and that was when we were at the Coliseum still with the, yep. with the rink over there. And in the summertime, they'd bring us in, and he was he was there working out. Oh, yeah. in the summertime at three in the afternoon, we were doing two days. They were just killing us. That was just a normal day to him. Oh my god, he was unreal. Yeah, think of that. Like that sets the bar. I'm eighteen years old with all these other. <laughs> Kids and you see Roddy and he was in there too sometimes training, but Roddy was in there religiously, and Jimmy would be like, "That's what it takes to get to the NHL." So you're like, "That's the bar," you know, and that's like guys work like that because of guys like that. I remember yeah. when I yeah. for my Rod first the bod. year, my Rod wife's the favorite Rod player. The yeah, yeah. My, mom's, yeah. my mom's favorite oh, player. Yeah. Oh my god, she fucking <laughs> she loves, Roddy. loves Roddy. But but what a good man too. Oh. Like one of the nicest humans I've I've met in hockey. Uh, I I got to do a lot of stuff with Roddy it was fun the two years my first two years when I was here before I went to the Phantoms but uh he I'll never forget when I first got here after my first year in Florida this guy's we have a morning skate right like he goes upstairs before the morning skate comes down he's soaked jump in the shower <laughs> changes stuff get on the ice then go back up and lift and I'm like I remember the one day I say once I got to know him I'm like we've got a game tonight he goes I know I'm preparing for it, and I'm like, okay. I'm like, I never <laughs> see anything like. I like, yeah. I was down in Florida, and I just didn't. Guys were in, not the guys weren't in shape, but you see Roddy, man, you see hold. muscles. You, there's muscles <laughs> in his muscles. Yeah, like, yeah, right. He's just. They, they, there was a great thing a few years ago in the bubble when they showed him. He's out on that field in uh, oh, Toronto. Right. And he's yeah. got no yeah. shirt, and the guys are like, "Yeah, he makes us look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> like he's probably the, in the best shape." <laughs> what did he say in that one press? They asked him. Do you think you could, what do they say? Do you think you could win face off? Like, how would you do in the face offs? And he goes, Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I could. Yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of under his breath. I forget exactly what he said, but it was, it was kind of funny. Yeah. But you really, watch him, you watch him out there on the ice, you're like, Dude, like, he's in ridiculous yeah. shape, man. But yeah. I, I love that guy. I love Roddy. Yeah. Willie's down there with him, yeah, too. They're I doing know, some I stuff know. down there together, Justin yep. Williams. Yeah, the other guy great. came through here, yeah. That's it. Mr. Yep. Game 7. Yeah, Jeez, right. Man, man what a that career. kid he just won everything. Everything. He did, he did yeah. Well. It's a good guy to have around the young guys. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. you almost, you almost like, I think, I don't know if we talked about it, but, like, when he ended up finally deciding to retire, I'm like, give him some money to just come be in the room here and be, <laughs> be a leader <laughs> yeah, and right, teach exactly. the right? serious, man. Like, have around. show, Jeez, yeah. you know, let him play 40 games and yeah. and uh, have him teach your, your guys. But uh, he's doing good things down in Carolina, like you said, with Roddy. Um, great golfer, too. Kind of like you, Fridgy. Oh, yeah. No, I just hit him <laughs> long. That's it. Yeah. Long. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fifteen to get it in the hole. Everything. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm right well, Ross oh, is close. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ross is right, I'm right there, there with you. With you. <laughs> he doesn't even make nine holes this guy. Oh, but yeah. um yeah, I mean it's it's interesting. I'm I'm excited for this Carolina Florida yeah. Panther uh series. And even for our old friend Johnny Stevens, you know, he's assistant coach in Vegas and they made it um through their play in Dallas. What it, well, that was a good series. It the was. Dallas series was pretty interesting. At the end, it wasn't at first, but that last game, um game seven was a pretty good game. Yep, I agree. Good Seattle, Jimmy Montgomery, Montgomery. too. Is he yeah. in for the? Uh, yeah, Jack Adams. The Jack yeah. Adams. Yeah, that's he is. A, that's a great story, man. You know, that's yeah. a great story. He's come back and got another job, another shot at it in Boston. And 
it's just it's it's good, you know. It's 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 a good uh it's a good uh, feel good story. Yeah, yeah right. Jimmy exactly. Hunter coming in there and they they did they did a good job. Uh I think they went the most points in the year. Oh, they so. they set a record, an yeah. NHL record for yeah. yeah, that's love to have Bergeron. Oh. I know. We don't know if he's going to be back, man. Yeah. It looked like he was not at the end of that game, the way he was hugging everyone and all yeah. that. So his body, he's he's played a long he time. He got banged Christ, up at the end of the season. One of the best. We played against I know. him Fringy, in the lockout year. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, he was he's about probably 18 the years best old. example was, of a captain in today's game. Oh, man. Yeah. He's unbelievable, that guy. Yeah. I'd love to play with that guy, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's a... Uh, Did he not get hurt at the end of the season? Yeah, Baller was saying he he played in game 82, right, Baller? And I... Uh, because what was it? What was the reason? His, his father was there? In Montreal. In Montreal there, and he got hurt. And well, that that's right. I guess that was to where your point of, like, you know, when he's kind of resting yeah. guys towards the end of the season, there, there's a reason why. and it's <laughs> Right. It's generally to not get hurt, but it's also you gotta stay. You gotta stay on the gas too, right. and not lose momentum. But yeah, though. So hopefully he comes back. I mean, I hope he does one more game. year, yeah, man. Right. I mean, for how many points did he have, Baller? Like he still put the points up this year, and obviously he's the best, probably one of the best two-way two two players, yeah, exactly. yeah, in the league. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with him. But we're more worried about the Fly Boys. Oh yeah, and what they're doing. So yeah, so playoffs should be interesting. I mean, uh, Final Four. Final Four. Who, who do you yeah. got? <laughs> he had. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think all my picks are out now. But, uh, I, I have been riding Florida though since. Uh, since you have, you yeah. have in Florida. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, I don't know. I'm when, going, I, don't, going, I think Carolina's coming back for Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. So that that's going to help their lineup, right? Is it Teravainen's coming back? Because he got hurt in the first round. He got hurt in like one of the first couple games, but that'll help their lineup. But fuck Florida, man. Yeah, just well, the I'm way they're playing, Florida. man. They're tough to play against. We'll see tonight, I guess. Yep. I don't yeah. know what's going to happen. Vegas Stars. I mean, th- that Western side's been. <laughs> I don't know. Who are you going to take though? I'm probably just going to go Vegas, Johnny. Johnny go back and forth hockey there. there. Go. Probably go seven. Think so? I think so. What do you think? <laughs> I kind of like Vegas too. Yeah. Yeah. I. I mean. We'll see. The place is buzzing. I know one thing. Baller put his whole life savings on Morgan Frost's uh, pick for uh, <laughs> Steph Curry. Frosty, <laughs> this guy, he's living in his car now. He put everything he had on that pick. He said, don't bet against the best shooter of all time. Mm. And Baller did. <laughs> Baller put it in. Debo, let him live with you, for God's sakes, man. Anyway, we're not going to get into basketball talk. Riles wants to, but we're not. Yeah. Um, Fridgy, I don't think you're going to watch a lot of the My NBA. daughters are basketball players. No way. Steph Curry is Sienna's favorite player. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Playing hoops. I love it. Yeah, I was good at that game, Bump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are we talking okay. about? Which bump are which we game, talking about? Which bump about? are we talking about? Was... <laughs> you start at the foul line, okay. right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And the other guy behind you yeah, has the yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I got a fridge story. I would just miss, t- and I'd wait for the other guy to shoot and miss, and then I'd hit their balls hard <laughs> as good. It's funny you said <laughs> played. I played that yesterday with the neighborhood kids, and, and Elvis is so mad at me because I knocked him out like three. They call it knockout now. Knockout. But I... I'm like, I kind of like gave him a chance after he missed his first shot. Yeah. <laughs> and to make the layup, I'm like, dude, if you miss the layup, I'm going to, ba- I'm going to bury you. And I kept doing it. He was so mad at me. He took my ball and threw it like one time when I missed and I, I got out. But anyway, Fridgy <laughs> played back, way back in the day at Clarkie's old gym. Mm. We played yeah. this men's league and it oh, was funny geez. because I don't think anyone else besides me played college basketball, but we're playing against these guys. All these men that played. Well, you're basketball. dirty, nasty. You got a dirty shot. D- He's got some, but Fridgy you got some skills. swag. Oh, Fridgy, yeah. Fridgy's playing, and it like we've we've talked about you before. McAllister Fridgy. was playing too. Chris McAllister. He tried. Yeah, he did one time. I thought he played one time too. We thought that'd be great. Oh boy, Big Mac. <laughs> he had hands like feet. Hands like, yeah. yeah. No, but no, but seriously, Fridgy. We've talked about you before. Fucking guy, your size, the way you run, the way you skated, yeah. like just yeah. a freak athlete. This guy's jumping up and getting rebounds, and I swear to God, I, I you probably yeah. remember me saying to you, he's this far <laughs> above the rim. I had hops. And he would get up, he would get the rebound, but he would come down with it, and then he would go up and lay it in, right? Like, because he, he's a good athlete. Yeah. I'm like, Hammer Fridge, that. 
dunk it. Yeah. You're up, a, you're this far over the rim. You just dunk it when you catch it instead of come down. I don't know if I can. I'm like, you're, <laughs> you're already, you're already this, there. You're <laughs> this far over the rim, man. Like, I was just yeah. like, God, I remember that's seeing that Ukrainian the whole dancing. Life. Yeah, like, yeah. that's you're exactly like, what Charles, it is. Charles Barkley, legs. Charles Barkley of the Bob, yeah. Bob Clark League, man. Yeah, but um. You weren't there the day Homer s- s- Russian sickled the guy. Were I you? think I came. I think I came to the next few games because <laughs> Homer did case. that. Yeah, <laughs> reinforcement. Yeah. yeah. Oh my oh, god. Yeah, Homer, dude. Homer played hard. Yeah. Oh, really? We used to play in the back of the skate zone. Check out my checklist. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. because hard. of him. Yeah, Slash yeah. Dirty. Oh god. Yeah, he would play. Uh, Street who rules. Else would play with my, us. My favorite. My favorite was he would. If Barry? you want, yep, yeah. Barry would play. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they Barry's called him. They yeah. called him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Homer called him. Vanilla um, Sky. <laughs> what did they call him? No, he Great called White him. Hope. <laughs> no, he called him a, a. There was a defenseman in Colorado that didn't really play D. He called him his nickname. Oh, geez. oh my God! I can't. I, I have to really think about that one. But he used to call him that. But it, but Homer, like, once he lost one game. Then it was it was on. Oh, yeah. Then he got mad. Yeah. And you're like, dude, why are you Picked. mad? We're Hitting, tr- setting picks. Oh, man. Straight up prison rules. Like, eh? Elbows dude, up. Elbows up. Yeah. <laughs> elbows up. The, I told the story when he was on here at Fridge. Yeah. So one time he got a rebound and I'm like, I'm five foot nothing. The man is way, but I'm down low trying to, like always trying to push him because I was the only guy that would guard him. <laughs> he turned with an elbow and you know, those sharp ass elbows of his yeah. hits me right in the teeth. I'm sp- I turn, I'm spitting my final teeth out. And he's like, oh, did I get you? Did you get yeah. me? <laughs> oh, did I yeah, get did you? Yeah, you see my chicklets down there? You're yeah. going to have to pay for it to fix? Yeah. No, but um, I just never forget, like, Fridgey played in that uh, basketball oh, yeah. league with us. Yeah, it was fun. We yeah. had a good time. We didn't win many, many games. We didn't Explosive win many games. Human. But it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's going on in uh, Arizona there, Nast? <laughs> They put the money out, oh. and you played in Arizona. Oh my! No, they they no. put the you know what is it two two point one billion dollar yeah. uh, yeah. thing, and they and they vote they they voted no. I don't understand it. If they, I I'll tell you the story. I remember to look this up, but Shane Doan used to always tell me this when they were going to break ground in Scottsdale. Because remember when we? I remember going there, and we we used to play where the Suns play, and. That that was a good area. People they they fill it up. Yeah, because they fill it up for yeah. hoops. And I, it, I think it was in the dying hours of the deal that Glendale came in and, and put this bid in, and they won the bid. And I, I, Shane Shane knew like he's the captain. He's been with that franchise right. since it, we moved there pretty much, yeah. and um, he knew that like the way where that was the location. It wouldn't have worked at that moment. He still has his shovel. Wow. He kept the shovel. No way. Yeah, he's got it. He used to joke about it because if it was in Scottsdale, they'd be filling it all the time. It's easy access. It's right in the middle of the, where the main population is. Glendale, yeah, you got it for cheaper, but, you know. Yeah, but it's a drive. You got to yeah, get out there. That's and, it. You right. have to win. It's a deal, bra- it's you a deal breaker. Win. You got to win to get them out you, there. You have to win, win, win to get them out there. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like, it would have been different if it was, I think, uh, you know, that's what he says. It's we, a shame. We would have been, been a completely I, different thing. Well, Fridgy, I don't know if you know the answer to this, but, like, why didn't they just stay out where the Suns play? And I play in that building. I don't know. I th- well, the building wasn't outfit for it because the, the back area, that's what it was. It was just built for basketball. Like Brooklyn. So oh, that's right. why yes, right. Brooklyn it was, was like exactly like that. And you couldn't get the amount of seats in there or something like that. Oh, so. they got more than they got now. Well, that's right. <laughs> yeah, four exactly. thousand. Yeah, yeah dress as a seat night in Arizona. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> well, they, they played at ASU this year. And what's it hold, Debo? 5,000, 4,000, something like that? It's a nice yeah. arena, but it's fucking tiny. Yeah. It would work, but location is everything. It yeah. Is. Yeah. I just yeah. think they it's can't get out of that deal. So. Everyone loves Where do they go? There. Well, that's what we're. <laughs> they're saying Houston. They're saying maybe Quebec. A lot of people push for Quebec, but Houston seems to be kind of a front. But they're actually talking about Atlanta again. That is so odd. I mean, that'd be three times. Yeah, the last like one was a miserable failure, wasn't it? Yeah, that was. I had something good come out of there one time though. Um, but uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> good trip. Quebec. The, uh, <laughs> Quebec yeah, might work too. <laughs> but, yeah, but there was there was no one at those games when we were playing Atlanta. 
That was when Marty Baron told uh, Bolton, hey, you going to fight this guy? Oh, yeah, I'm like, right. dude, why would you do that to Ryle? Marty Beast teen up fights <laughs> yeah, playing Marty Don Beast. King. They were out in the morning skate <laughs> fridgy, and me and Riles just standing there talking. Of course, well, Marty was talking. We were listening. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Bolton comes over, and he's like, what's up, Marty? Because they played together at Buffalo. And he goes, yeah. uh, just just looking at the guy you're going to have to fight tonight. And he's pointing at Riles. was like, just standing there. Bolton goes, I don't want to fight anybody. <laughs> Riles goes, thank God, I don't either. But you did. Yeah, we <laughs> did. ended yeah. up fighting for about two uh, minutes. I was like, that guy thanks, loved thanks, the thanks, long Marty. fights, oh, man. He was a good fighter. Oh, yeah, he, was, yeah. he blew my eardrum out. He blew really? my eardrum out. Yeah, because I he, he he this is after the big injury. Oh my god! And we were older by this time, so he's like, <laughs> I asked him to fight, and he's just like. Why? Go, <laughs> Why? <laughs> well, it was the fight to break a thousand pims, and I broke. A th- oh, I wanted to break a thousand um, pims with a fight. Like right. I don't know yeah. why, and, and then <laughs> you, you busted my ear. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, he's a good, he's got that uh, heavy punch. He's he a does, good fighter. Yeah. Lasted he's a, a long fighter, time. Yeah. Did last a long time. Lasted a really long time. Um, yeah, he's you got to tip your hat, guys. It yeah. lasts a long time doing yep. that, man. It's That's, it's a tough gig. And well, you guys know that. Bolts yeah. used to t- ask me how many cheeseburger or cheesesteaks I had when I was in Philadelphia. He used to tease me all the time. I was the worst at comebacks, wasn't I? <laughs> I you burn me, and it's I'm just the marbles in my mouth. You I come can't. back out, you yeah. had to wait a shit. I just punch them. <laughs> yeah, I just right, punch exactly. them. I just punch them. Somebody starts chirping me. Yeah, it's just oh. terrible at the comeback. Yeah, I lose every time. <laughs> yeah. What, what are your thoughts on, on the game around? fighting i know like when we first had you on it was right two and a half years yeah, ago it was a while back. uh you know obviously it was trending yeah down the, yeah it was trending down and everything but where where, where, where are you at as far as i seem it seems like it's picked back up a little this bit. year yeah i don't i don't know like what well that's just i i think i hope it always stays in hockey i do too man mm-hmm. you know um I think it's kind of like a spill over the passion right it's just these guys care and you know what i think fans enjoy it you know, at the end of the day, these guys are two willing combatants. If yeah, they right. understand what they're signing up for and what they're fighting for, you know, then I, it's it's an okay thing, you know. Um, but if it gets out of hand and it's stupid, stop, you know. Yeah, just, yeah, it's, just it's, don't it's, bother. It's don't not, bother. It's not like when and you I don't guys think it's going to stay. Yeah. It's not like when you guys are playing. I, I love the part of hockey that's to me is the greatest is when two guys are battling and they're playing hard and they do get pissed off at each other, they just drop them and go. Yeah. Like I've, I've said this before. Like I never, I couldn't even imagine what you guys did and what you went through. I was around you both. I just, I saw it. I know it's hard, but like I, if I had to fight, I'd rather be pissed off. Something happened and I just mm. go. Then what you guys had to do where Think you're taking it. a nap, trying to take a nap yeah. the day of a game, knowing, well, I got to yeah. fight this guy tonight. I don't have to, but I'm probably going to have to. Because yeah. even when you were still playing. I used to sleep as much as I could, so I wouldn't you, think. So you wouldn't think? Yeah, yeah that I was one of my tactics. Get yeah. to bed and sleep yeah, just as to. much as you can. And I had good guys, man. I had good veterans around me. Luke Richardson. These guys yeah. said it's okay to be afraid. Talk it. Yeah. You yeah. know, Chief, these guys, it's like if you're not afraid, you're you're not ready, man. Right. That's going to, and you know, <laughs> it's cliche, but it keeps you ready. And yeah, it teaches right. you respect, too. Sure. You can get hurt. You can get yeah. hurt real bad. Guys do get hurt real bad. and But that's, um, I still love the honor of that, if done right. Right. Like, there was a code that we lived by, and I like to think that I played to that code. Yeah. You know, and I, I enjoyed doing it. I, I Not the fighting part. I enjoyed the uh, the, the role and the, the, the reasons behind it, sticking up for a teammate so that they can play better. And then you win kind of through them, with them. Right. right? Yeah. And it, it's an element that is there. It is palpable. A guy has more room. Oh, guys yeah. back off. Oh, it's a like, real thing, yeah. Yeah, and then those guys get to to dance and and and, and be more creative because you ain't afraid. You yeah, know? Right. and that's the right. element that I think. Yeah, keep it around, keep it around, like uh, with a good head or or something. But I, I think that that's something that's honorable in the game that you yeah. can keep around, man. Because that's really what it's about. I right? agree. You know, don't let's not like get that confused with yeah you know what it is it, it did get out of hand oh yeah you know with staged but that was that the rule changes that, that was yeah. exactly it right yeah you almost had to to call and make an appointment like hey <laughs> i remember that uh from last game in period three did the violation of our code <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. we're gonna have to set a date for the next game start of the second period we'll get a couple shifts in first <laughs> yeah. and then we'll go do si do and then it will be done, right? 
and then we're done. And that's how it was. Like, that's yeah, what it, it became. Yeah. We you know? Had, Frigy, yeah, that's so right. Frigy, that's Write so that funny. little black book down. We, yeah. He did that. We had, uh, we had Jay Rosehill on uh, a while back, and Rosie was talking about when he, he was trying to get his fight with uh, Brad May. Remember oh, May yeah, was right. in Detroit? And he was like, hey, can I get one? He goes, yeah, let me get a shift in here. Let me get let me get a shift. He's like, all right. So he comes back. He says a couple of shifts. So he's like, hey, can we go? And he's like, ah, I got a couple more shifts, a couple more shifts. And then he finally said, okay, let's go. And Rosie's like, Jesus Christ, man, I just want to get this over with, right? But you're right. It's a veteran you, you maneuver right there. Know, like, yeah. you know, you knew what was what was coming. Mm-hmm. And we've talked about that a lot. Oh, right? yeah. uh, work you guys did. Oof, it was tough, man. But how do you see, how do you see it playing out from uh, like the junior levels up? They they banned well, it in the Quebec to, Major Junior League, it, so yeah. I would imagine that's going to trickle to the OHL Western Hockey League, and then oh. you know, so these guys have no experience coming to the pro yeah. pro leagues, and then is is it just like a slow um, progression of actually weaning this thing out completely, or what? Well, yeah, I don't I don't know if they're banning it completely. It's it's probably the start, yeah. you know, but how are you going to do that? Well, let how me are you going to do that? Let me ask you yeah. this. So <laughs> you're not allowed to fight or stick infraction is going to go up or a guy's going to do well, yeah. dumber shit. Well, look at the games but now. Yeah, guys, yeah. Are, guys are getting more hurt. There's going to be yeah, different someone, injuries. There's going to be guys sticking people and then guys going to be like, screw it. They drop their glove and they're going to start <laughs> pounding someone. And then what happens? Well, sussies. Well, I know, but yeah. like, I feel like Sussies. if you have that thought in the back of your head that if I do something really stupid, I'm going to get grabbed, yeah, you don't do it. But oh, we've yeah. Talked, you know what I mean? Like There's the nothing, accountability. Yeah, I know. Well, especially with no, yeah, with no visor. Well, I guess they'll have visors now. But, from doing something. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> keep you do your, that keep again. Keep your toes a little bit. I'm going to fine you five grand. Okay. Yeah. Ten? Yeah, I know. Ten? Sure. <laughs> Yeah. They better, better, better off punch him. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just keep hiding that doesn't behind special game. teams, right? It's just like, yeah. we'll just sell it and go on the power play. And it's kind of seems like the strategy now anyways, right? Yeah, it's a like, lot of times. But we'll see, I guess. We'll see. Hopefully not. Like, I, like I t- totally agree. Like, obviously, we've come a long way from Broad Street Bullies. And it's evolved. Clean it up. Uh, I mean, but, like, to me, the element of accountability can still be there and spontaneous situations um yeah don't take it out don't just take it leave out. it in the rules yeah leave right. it in the rules. Yeah. it's 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 not allowed you know so it's it's you're getting penalized for it yeah it's right like, exactly right you know, taking fighting out of the game man how are you gonna do that take to take hitting out you can't sometimes it no, just happens you can't. oh yeah sometimes you just bump into a guy like what do you like just let's stay out of it yeah. keep yep. politics out of sport period right and then you're okay yeah yep. i agree yeah. with that well said. That's well. well said. It's another thing. Yeah, let's get into this. All right. <laughs> Since you opened that can of worms up, let's hear it. Well, it, it is. I think it is important. Competition is 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 what it is. It's not comfortable. It's right. it's engagement. It's it's yeah right. It's, it's getting comfortable with the things that people have to get comfortable with in the real world. You know, someone's going to want something you might want, and they're going to go after it, and you might have to compete yeah. with them yeah. to get it. However, shape that, however, whatever shape that takes, but yeah. you have to keep those elements of a safe environment of engagement, right? Where there's there's rules, right? There's code mm-hmm. that we're all in agreements. These things happen here. If it's whatever it may be, but let them play out. Their parents forgot this. I'm a parent. I got three kids. We forgot to watch our kids. Solve the problems on the field. Yeah, we get involved right. now. Well, that's yeah, a exactly, huge yeah, problem. Yeah. We yep. forgot how much we learn from watching them. They, they kids, all even through high school, they get through their experiences better without us. Totally. <laughs> stay out of it. Yeah, stay and out learn of it. how they solve it because you can learn something from that. Yeah. You know, kids will solve problems better than any parents will, and you you t- you tilt the field for the kid on the on the field yeah. by, by being a parent and get involved. And that yeah. goes for hockey in general, yeah. you know, watch how things pan out in the game. Yeah. You know, that's how decisions should be made sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I know? mean, I see Look it. old Donnie Brook. Uh, yeah. You know? yeah. I know, right. Yeah. It's in a safe environment. I'm not, you know, promoting that, but it's look, violence is a part of society. If you don't think it is, then you're, you're missing the boat here, yeah. you know, not, not condoning it or anything, but you right. can't go blind eye to it. It's part of things. And, you know, it gets it gets into a safe place to see it in sport. You know, competition is good. There's got to be a loser. There's got to be a winner, and everybody can't win. You know, right? Like that's ultimately what it is. Yeah. And, and let let it let it play out there. Politics stay out. 
Yeah. That's where everything gets gray. Yeah, fully nah. agree. That's why sport sport is good for everything. Competition is good for everything. Com- it leads into things that are happening in society yeah you know mental health right the power of the athlete the power of sport and mental health is real Mm -hmm. you know you you know you know the area very well i know the area very well i think as athletes we have a responsibility we're we are put on a pedestal you know in society as as wow look at what the human body can achieve you know and we forgot about this one thing that actually all athletes kind of know what's the secret 80%, 90% 80%, 90% of this is mental. Oh, totally. And we've completely forgotten that, you know. The kids yeah. that are playing sports and, and, and the, all these things that are going on in society and whatnot, we've forgotten how to be a little bit gritty and get through some things. And, yeah. and, and, and I think athletes have uh, a responsibility to be kind of a, 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 you know, leading the charge for that, you know. If, you, if you're going through some stuff, get up, stand up, and ask for help. There's plenty of places, and there's plenty of people that have gone through similar situations. Yeah. So, you know, we, we, we speak very, very intimately about those things, Riley, and yeah. I appreciate that stuff, too. For sure. Yeah. You're seeing more and more of it. You know, guys are becoming more vulnerable. You know, Carey Price, you know, comes yeah. out and he puts himself in rehab, and, you know, there's some Olympic athletes that have pulled themselves out of competition, yeah. which is, you know, a, a, obviously a positive thing for younger generational athletes athletes to see so they don't feel forced or stressed into situations that they you know maybe don't feel comfortable in but uh there's a lot of work to be done you know mm-hmm. like the, the the mindset around the performance element is one thing but then like the whole off ice off the field type of mental health issues right everyone's got their own things going on you know family stuff relationship stuff which is a whole other you know mental Oh. bucket right that we need to you know cultivate and, and nourish yeah that i feel like sometimes uh well it's, it seems like it's not really taught within sport right it's train the physical body it's get bigger faster stronger you know skill skill work you know from three years old four years old all the skills in the world yeah. but it's like the, the mind is like the piece that's not being trained it hasn't been overly focused on you know and i think yeah. that's you know you know coaching the, the phantoms there for for years was and you've seen it it's the guys that it, it, the the mind is the thing that prevents guys from making it or from, it's the yep. thing that that prevents guys from staying in the nhl is is that ability to stay consistent it's yeah. the focus focus a little bit and then lack of focus you know what yeah. i mean and it's and that's that's the ter- determining factor it's not their physical stature it's not their skill yeah it's the mind always yeah, right there's, and then there's see a lot of that yeah right such an element of um i don't i don't know if it's it's <laughs> i think it's surrender like to that so that you don't let that thing get you off off kilter you got to kind of like well it's distraction right it's distraction it's just and like yeah. all these stories you tell yourself well, i'm not good enough it's self-doubt it's all yep. these you know these ne- negative self-talk right yeah versus just like putting a period at the end of each shift there you know bad play mistake who cares yeah. you know move on yeah and the guys that you see the guys that you know the, the best in the game like they make mistakes yeah and they're okay with it they're they don't, they don't they don't beat themselves up and yeah. overly much oh man some of them I, do but those players who like i scotty Needmeyer. Yeah, yeah, right. Scott just water off a duck's back. Oh, yeah. we're getting into it. <laughs> and he just come calmly and calm the whole game down. Guys like that. Oh, I love yeah, players. right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Lion was like short, that. Alex Lion yeah, was right. like Short that. memories. Yeah, yeah. you got to have a short memory. Neil Little, just yeah. cool oh, as a yeah. cat. Yeah, you know? yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, it's a skill that could be, you know, obviously could be cultivated. Oh, yeah. But you know, like so many guys, I've seen so many guys so hard on themselves. Yeah, you see the young generation so hard on themselves, and it's like that energy could be focused, yeah, on on producing versus yeah. just like worrying about your last mistake. And we can go on for days on all that stuff. I but, know, but that does translate into the off ice stuff. Yeah, then you start self medicating. You know what I mean? It's taking your mind off the game, and then there's all these unhealth, un- unhealthy ways of of dealing with the stress and, and the emotional toll of the game. And, you know, and then it goes down these dark paths if it's not nipped in the butt or, yep. or expressed properly. So yep. I think this is the world we're in now, right? Just Bang, different. you're alone. Yeah. And you've got to live two lives. Yeah. I'm stuck in this place and I've got to live up to this thing. Yeah, the athlete. Yeah, and that goes for anybody. Exactly, right? It's that dynamic, that second second life, that second secret. Secrets. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's... Uh, I'm glad to be associated with guys like you in this area, in this community, right? Because we live here, you know, this is our area and it's, mm-hmm. it's nice that there's even look guys like Chris Tarion. Yeah. You know, he's yep. out there loud and Love proud his. and he's, he's, he's had his battles and he's had his demons and, um, 
I'm just proud to be part of, of a fraternity of men like that yep. that are associated with the Flyers as well. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and that's that's what we're about. You know, we've always been that from Mr. Snyder down. Yep. You have time, son. You go out and you go to the hospitals and you go visit the kids because you don't know how much. And he'd point at that thing mm. and he'd go, that has an effect on them. Yeah. You know, he understood that so yeah. very well. So. And then we can bring that back. Yeah. We can bring that oh, yeah. back. It's, it's our job. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah. What better way to help help your community than really, really getting down and dirty and getting some of the people that are in a bad place up and out. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a, it, that's, that's what I do now. And I yeah, love exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it. it's, it's, it's a good gig, man. Sweet. Well, a great way to end, man. Yeah, We're, man. Um, appreciate you stopping by and sharing your time with us. Always great Anytime, to see you, brother. Guys. Fridgy 2.0. 2.0. It's been a while. I know. Yeah. It's been a while. I feel pretty. Do you guys want to go? <laughs> yeah. You want to <laughs> You got extra space today, man. I, got a little, I, got a little bit. I might score a goal. Hey, might. Play with you guys. Get those pins moving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but seriously, Fridgy, we appreciate you, man. Love you, brother. Yeah. Um, good seeing you as always. Yeah. Absolutely. Good luck with everything. And look forward to seeing you around a little more. Yes. Yes. Big thank you to our friend Fridge, Dr. Yes. Doric. Always, always fun to talk to him. Yeah. Too bad we couldn't put before and after on the I show because we got some good laughs yeah, I know, uh, right? from Fridgy. But uh, yeah, we we thank him, man. He's a he's a great guy and he's been through a lot, man. And he's coming up on top, so it's it's always good to see that feel yeah. good story with Fridgy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and nice to see him doing some good work with the alumni, the Warriors, yeah. and just uh, just in general in the community. Just so. a beauty. He's a beauty. <laughs> he's a beauty. I've known Fridgy a long time. Yeah, you played junior with him. I did. Yeah, so I've seen. Uh, I've seen the old Fridgy. The, I have too. Yeah, <laughs> the, the somewhat evolved Fridgy, and then the the current Fridgy. So yeah. it's, uh, it's it's nice to see. He's doing great. Yeah, absolutely. So I appreciate that, you, Fridgy. Yeah, it's that time to ask. It is that time. I believe it is. It's the time for the clear <laughs> questions. <laughs> Brought to you by Clear Rum, and you know what, Riggs? What do you got? We got a special promo code oh, from Clear cool. Rum. What promo codes? It's nasty twenty twenty three. Get you 35% off Ooh. on an order, only if you're living in PA, though. Yep. So uh, keep it to the Pennsylvania residents. Yep. That uh, uh, It's a great deal, though, and it's delivered to you. Oh, right to you. So, you don't have to go nowhere. No kinda, gas, no time. No, nothing. Just put the order in, put Nasty 2023, and get 35% off. All right, we're ready, Love Baller. It. Let's go, Baller. This one's from Howie's World over on Twitter. He said Tempe voted against the Coyotes arena build. And what do you guys think will happen next? Man, I don't know. I hate to see. I hope they don't leave. Obviously, they're going to eventually have to leave. Yeah. I mean, they won't be able to do it this year, Riggs, unless they can build like Calgary <laughs> that quick. Uh, but warp in all speed. Yeah, warp speed. But all, all seriousness, like the, you know, you're here in Houston. Um, I remember when the American League was there. It's American League. They had a decent following. I think they had a team there in the International Hockey League as well. But uh, um, Atlanta has come up. I just don't know. You know, Atlanta hasn't worked twice. Yeah. I personally loved going to Atlanta. Um, but uh, either Houston or Quebec, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I'd love to see a Canadian team. I'm just not sure on the uh, the old Canadian dollar, the strength right. of it and the business yeah. uh, side of things. Uh, on You know, in theory, it sounds great. You right. Yeah. Um, I'm sure they would love it there. Yeah. But um, it is a business. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what to think, honestly. Um, well, I guess we'll see. We'll find out, they, yeah. Maybe they can hang on there somehow. And I wish they could. I just don't see it. I think it's been kind of a, a, a dying project for some time, unfortunately. Yeah, I think you're right. We'll see. Yep, great question. No, thank you for the question. Mm -hmm. no Notorious PIG actually said, would the arena be ready by opening night if they moved to Calgary? I <laughs> <laughs> love that. Uh, I don't think it will be. Uh, yeah, yeah. Riley thought, uh, right? uh, well, Riley thought I'm, maybe. I'm, I'm an optimist, <laughs> yeah, Nast. You are. You see the way the building, buildings in China. You never know. The you never know. There. It is there. It is there. But probably not. Probably not. This one's from Roman Griffin over on Twitter. He wanted to know if the Flyers are going to target any free agents change the culture of this lifeless team Whoa. wow wow um i don't think they will but unless it's something very small well you know i don't think they're gonna be targeting anyone i think they're gonna try to get younger which danny uh, brought up in his uh, press conference there and um 
I don't see them trying to. I don't think there is a huge free agent anyway, but uh, I don't think they'll do anything. Yeah, that way. I'm thinking the same thing. I heard Danny speak about they're possibly going to be younger than they were this year. Yeah. Um, you know, again, you're, you're getting Atkinson back, Coots back. Yeah. You know, some veteran guys there. I know that obviously they were already on the squad, but they yeah, but didn't participate. They didn't but it's like yeah, they didn't play, so it's kind of like adding a couple free agents uh, yep. in some way, shape, or form. Um, but. Uh, I don't see them chasing nothing. In fact, mm-hmm. I think it's just yeah. all about you know, probably trying to accelerate the development of these guys and give them, give them reps, give them opportunities, and um, and uh, and build off that. Yeah, so. try to make trades to get assets and picks and things yeah. like that. So, like you said, Danny did did say we'll probably be a younger team. So I don't see him going out targeting anyone. No. We got one more from your buddy. What was his name? Matt Trey. Matt Trey? Oh, my goodness. He's thinking about a new rule. He said, how do you guys feel about the PK team being able to ice the puck? That rule needs to go. I don't understand that, Matt. I don't know where you're getting that because it's been (laughs) from day one. I got to bust your chops because I love you. Um, I think his thinking is you're penalized, so you should be able to ice the puck, but you're shorthanded. That's the that's the penalty that you're shorthanded. So I don't think that rule will ever change, buddy. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's been in since the start of time, hasn't it? I think he was in some of your, uh, your <laughs> munchies there. I think Matt was doing that. Uh, but thanks for the question, bro. Appreciate you, man. All right. I think that's a wrap. All right. Episode 118 in the books, Nast. Yep. Thanks to our friends, Clear Rum. For clear questions until next week episode 119 be sure to check us out on social media youtube subscribe and uh, stay tuned for updates on the tailgate yes and uh until then stay safe knuckleheads see ya